All right, so um, yesterday we stopped at um, generating um, voicing using um, Clipchamp, of which we did generated our voices, then we exported it. Now the next thing we are going to do here is to create, um, generate our images. You know, we've generated the story from um, ChatGPT. So what we are going to do, we are going to head over to our meta.ai to generate our images. Then once we are done generating the images, we'll come to our you know, image resizer and resize our image to ratio 16 by 9. So if you know you've not watched um, the video for yesterday, please do well to go to my channel and watch the video for yesterday on how to generate story and the rest. So if this is the first time you are coming across my video, please do well to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that whenever I release any new video, you'll be first person to see the very video. So without wasting time, let's go to meta.ai. So go to your browser and type meta.ai. Meta.ai is owned by Facebook. Now, once you're done with this here, you need to click on Imagine. You need to log into your Facebook account and click on Imagine. Now, once you click on Imagine, remember ChatGPT generated a prompt, which is this, create an image of a young, you no, know, just copy the prompt and come to your Meta AI and drop the prompt here. So let um, Meta, you know, do this for us. Sometimes if you generate an image like this and it shows like this, it means they did not understand your prompt. So make sure you reconstruct your prompt. So let me say, all right, imagine and generate an image of a young African man, precisely South African um, Zulu village setting. Then let's see what Meta AI will generate out because sometimes you need to be precise and give it what it needs to generate, the best thing you need to generate. Remember, the story I generated is related to South Africa. Perfect. This is it. I love this. This is perfect. Now, I think um, this is cool. This is cool and this is also cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download this very one. Then we'll go back to our prompt. Now, what you need to do here, you will start reading your story scene by scene so that you can generate images for it. Like mine that says this, I have generated that image. Then I'll go to the next one. Despite the challenges, Shaka grew into a formidable warrior. You no. Know? Okay, now I will still repeat the same prompt. Then in this, I'll put putting on warrior attire then i'll just wait for it to you know generate it yeah this is perfect this is perfect i think i love this very one then you can save it so this is how you are going to generate your images for your story till you get to the last one yeah till you get to the last end so how do you do this? You are going to read it line by line and generate images according to the scene. If your image is talking about he grew up into a formidable warrior, you are going to generate an image that is putting on a warrior clothes. Then his prowess caught the attention of these, the leader of the blah, 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 who took. So you are to create, you know, the images according to your story. Now, I want to quickly teach you something. How can you have a repeatable image? Let's say you want to use this face throughout. Now, let's say I have this face. And if you, if, if you look at this face and this face, they are not the same. Now, I want this face to be the same face of this man. So I'm going to download this very image also. Yeah. Then I will come to this website that is called faceswapper.ai. Now, the face swap will replace the initial image to the, you know, the image you want. Then I will upload the image I want. Um, let's say this very one. Okay, I want this image, this face to be on this very other guy. I want the face to be on this very other guy. All right, this. Then all I just need to do is click on start swapping. Now, it's going to swap this very face. It's going to swap it here. 
So this is one secret you can use to get consistent face because your image does not need to be different face, different face. No, to have a consistent face, you can do this. You can do this for all your images so that you can have a consistent face. Yeah. Now the swap is completed and you can download your swapping. Are you seeing it? So if you look at this face, are you seeing this very face? We have the same face here. So all you just need to do is download your image. Now, after generating all your images, the next thing, our YouTube size is ratio 16 by nine. So we need to go and, you know, convert our image from portrait to 16, um, ratio 16 by nine. For you to do that, come to this image resizer, which is owned by Adobe, then click on upload. Once you click on upload, you select the image you want. Okay, then I'll just do like this. Now, if you see this image is on portrait level, but I want to turn it to a landscape with to give me ratio 16 by 9 for my YouTube channel. So I will resize it, then it's going to bring an option for you. This is on Instagram. You choose this resize for choose for YouTube and select 16 by 9. So it's going to resize your image to be YouTube level like this. As you can see, it is like a YouTube level. So once you are done with this, all you need to do is click on save. You do this to all your images. You resize it to ratio 16 by 9. Now, once you are done here, yeah, let me resize the last one. We are going to the final stage, which is to edit our, you know, stories and the rest. So this is where your CapCut come in. I am using CapCut for desktop version. You can use the one for mobile. Like I said, using mobile, will not make you to be fast, like it can slow you down, but if you can still keep up, please go ahead. Once you come to your cap cut, you click on import. First, we are going to import those um, videos. Uh, no, those are, okay. Our images, let's import our images one, two. And if you remember yesterday, our audio, you are going to bring your audio also. You are going to bring that our audio so just open it and bring them here now look at the audio we did yesterday this is the audio we did yesterday now the next thing you need to do click on audio here then come down to where you see noise reduction so that the noise can be reduced then come to voice changer choose this mic hog and reduce it to five reduce it to five it will not sound like this Baka was born in 1787 in the small zulu clan so that there can be a background you know reverb now once you are done this is where the job will come from you will now start arranging you know your story according to your images drag your images like this yeah scene one the early life of Shaka Zulu. Shaka was born in 1787 in the small Zulu clan. Now, in a small Zulu clan, like a kingdom. Let me go back to my beating because I need to bring in that he was born in a small village. So I need to display that village. Let's see. Okay, this. Now let me take it here. He was born in a small village here. Yeah? Okay. Take it back. Scene one, the early life of Shikazulu. I don't want you to say scene one. Let's just start from the story. So let's go. Let's restart. Shaka was born in 1787 in the small Zulu clan, a time when the region was fragmented into many small chiefdoms. This is perfect. So now this is how you are going to arrange your photos to the end of your story. Now the sweetest part of this is how to add animation because you need to add animation to it. To add animation, you click on the video, you come to animation, yeah, then you select combo, make sure you select combo. That you can just play around any animation you like here. It can be something like this. 
Shaka was born in 1787 in the small Zulu clan. Now in a small Zulu clan, so I'm going to add um, another transition here. Let me choose um, this. A time when the region was into many small chiefdoms. Now this is life. now this is how you do everything. You make sure you generate your your you know your stories and the images and everything to the end. Now the next thing you need to do is to generate a subtitle to it. So I'm going to come to test, then I'm going to click on auto caption here. Then I'll click on generate and generate auto caption for this very story. Now after you know creating the subtitle, click on the subtitle and come and click on template. Then choose this second option. I love the second option. So after choosing the second option, this is how it will look like. Shaka was born in 1787 in the small Zulu clan, a time when the region was fragmented into many Now, we want to do the last thing, which is to add, you know, audio, like a local village sound. I have, you know, dropped my own. You can go to YouTube and search for free copyright local village Africa sound. Then import it and drag it below your audio. Just drag it below your audio. So you can reduce it so that it will not be louder than your voice. Then at the end of everything, we should have this. Shaka was born in 1787 in the small Zulu clan, a time when the region was fragmented into many small chiefdoms. Now, as you can see, we are done with everything. Now the next thing is for you to export. Click on export, then choose a name for it. Yeah. Then be mindful of where the folder you are exporting is to, then you click on export. So this is everything about YouTube AI automation. Um, if you know you've not watched the previous video, please go back and watch the previous video. And if you know you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you'll be first videos whenever we post them. Make sure you like, comment, and share the video. I'll see you in class.